Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. We know where we are. And this is the first channeling from Egypt. There is tremendous history here. There is over 5,000 years of history here, and 3,000 of it belongs to Egypt. We're going to speak a little bit about this, but we also want to talk about history in general. As profound as it is to have a country, a culture, that would span six civilizations with one culture, as astonishing as that is, I ask you this question. Was there anything before it? History is always changing. It is only as valid as the last discovery. And that last discovery will continue to change. So even before we get into some of the other subjects which I speak of, let's review history. Dear ones, if you go to another section of this planet, you will find the Aborigine. Now the Aborigine claims that they are almost 40,000 years old. This has lately been validated by the government of Australia using DNA. Indeed, if you have a civilization in this country of Australia that is 40,000 years old, what does it say about the history here in Egypt? Is it then possible then there would be history before history? It's amazing to think of the duration of one culture being 3,000 years, been conquered many times, and yet have the same culture. If you take a look at the glory of Rome, it was only 507 years. So there is much here to discuss, to look at, especially, dear ones, in that which is spiritual and esoteric. I will be talking about Egypt later in just a moment and I'm going to give you something esoteric that I will reveal during the trip. What was before Egypt here? We gave a channeling not too long ago in the country of Turkey. It was called History Before History. We spoke of discoveries yet to come, where languages will be discovered that have never been seen or even imagined, where artifacts will be dated, and they'll be dated too early, before there was truly an acknowledgment of any history. Indeed, there was history here before history. If you go to these areas and start looking, the one that will service you the best is the Indus Valley. And in that place you will find what historians will call even the beginnings of history here, even before Egypt. You will have the beginning languages according to history. You'll have the Sumerian, the cuneiform, and yet there is something odd even here. For recently, the Sumerian artifacts have yielded some very interesting evidence that there was history or knowledge even before them. For one of the artifacts showed the solar system, yours, complete with the rings of Saturn. And this is a time before this kind of knowledge could exist, before telescopes existed, before they had any way of knowing these advanced things. It leads you to wonder about the scope of humanity. What this means 
if it's true that humanity has been here for over 30,000 years, what this means, dear ones, is that when Egypt began 5,000 years ago, that the Aborigines had already existed for over 30,000 years. Is it possible that there were civilizations here during that time as well? The Tibetans, in all their wisdom and in their prophecies, say something that also the North American indigenous tell you, that you are on your fifth civilization and that four in this area alone preceded you. So before Egypt, there were four others. We're going to talk more about the timing of this later. I give you all of these things to think about because even as we discuss and discover ancient Egypt, there is much to know even before that. There is indeed a mystery of unknown history. The esoterics that I'm going to present during this tour are always controversial. So let's get to this part, the esoteric part. We wish to discuss the Pleiadians. Dear ones, we have told you that indeed this earth was seeded by the seven sisters. We have told you that the indigenous believe this and it's almost everywhere on the planet, but here. There is such a rich history of what took place here. It's written on the walls of the temples and the tombs, and there is no mention of the Pleiadians. And yet there is a mention of some others, and I'm not going to reveal what it is. But I will tell you this, the further back you go in the history of Egypt, the greater the part will be played of the female. And even in the beginning, you had in Egyptology, the gods, even some women pharaohs. But dear ones, I'm going to reveal during this tour the main ones. I'm going to tell you about one, the cow deity, the mother of mothers, the one from the stars, the representative of the Milky Way. And this one is not who you think, for it is not Isis. There's something else here I would like to give you, something that talks about the seeds of this civilization that has been hiding for some time. And it has to do with the seven. So, dear ones, there is history hiding even here. And when we get to certain temples, I will reveal this esoteric information. Dear ones, I want you to think clearly for a moment. What is it that might be hiding here? Besides the history before history, is it possible that Egypt itself, the ancient ones, can reveal something that is pristine and beautiful. History within history, history before history. I'll tell you about the mistress of the heavens and the mother of mothers. It's all coming. But until then, enjoy this time and this tour. Be aware that things are not always as they seem, and so it is.